Welcome back to Foresight Bureau. In this video, we'll explore what impact robotics is likely to have on blue collar jobs. We'll also cover how robot development is reshaping our understanding of productivity and what this means for the future of physical labor. In subsequent episodes, we'll share what we plan to do to generate wealth by profiting from the impending machine economy. With the current rate of innovation, it is increasingly likely that domestic and industrial robots will soon be capable of performing almost any physical task done by a human worker. As a result, millions of paid jobs will be performed for free by a mixture of different autonomous machines that will take many forms, from bipeds and robotic arms to fully autonomous vehicles. In the early 1980s Bill Gates predicted that the PC will be as ubiquitous as the telephone and there'll be at least one in every home and office. Few people believed him back then because at the time high-end computers were the size of a room and incredibly expensive. It only took a few years for the personal computer to become compact and affordable. Like the PC, robots will become ubiquitous far more quickly than anticipated by the majority of people. In fact, they will soon become as commonplace in the home and workplace as electric vehicles and then smartphones. The notion of a robotic workforce is a concept that has permeated the realms of science fiction and futuristic speculation for decades. However, the origins of this revolutionary idea can be traced back to one of the most influential science fiction authors, Isaac Asimov. His seminal work, I, Robot, introduced the world to his famous three laws of robotics. Through his stories, Asimov explored the intricate dynamics and potential pitfalls of a society where robots became ubiquitous. Grappling with themes of machine sentience, ethical constraints, and the delicate balance between technological progress and human agency. As the decades progressed, the concept of a robotic workforce went from the realms of fiction and hypothesis to becoming an increasingly tangible prospect. Futurists and technologists such as Ray Kurzweil expounded upon the notion of a technological singularity, a hypothetical point in time where artificial intelligence would surpass human cognitive capabilities potentially rendering entire swaths of the workforce obsolete. Prior to the release of ChatGPT it was generally thought that AI would not exceed human intelligence for at least several decades. But it now looks like the singularity will happen far sooner than anticipated. That's because generative AI and foundation models have emerged far more quickly than anticipated and they are only getting better and better. Acting as potent catalysts, they are propelling the field of robotics towards new frontiers of capability and operational dexterity. The very same deep learning techniques that power the likes of Claude and ChatGPT are now being used to train robots using synthetic data. The result is robots that can learn and adapt, making them potentially far smarter and more capable than human workers. The reason why synthetic data is so game-changing is that historically, imparting new skills or task proficiencies to robotic systems necessitated laborious data collection efforts, often involving extensive trial and error iterations or meticulous video recordings. However, the advent of generative AI that uses synthetic data to simulate the real world has effectively obliterated these constraints. The ability to automate automation happened when companies like NVIDIA realized that they could replace the process of training models created by human coders with digital twins that learn by themselves within simulated environments. Furthermore, simulated environments can enable AIs to teach other AIs thereby creating a flywheel effect resulting in much smarter robots. All these technological advancements have attracted the notice of venture capitalists who have flooded the sector with cash further fueling the speed of robotic development. The reason why investors are so eager to put money into AI and robotics startups is that the economic incentives driving automation are becoming increasingly compelling. With various jurisdictions enacting legislation to raise minimum wages, the financial viability of automating certain tasks and roles becomes more attractive. Robots, unencumbered by the constraints of compensation or workplace regulations offer a compelling proposition for an increasing number of organizations that are grappling with escalating labor costs. By reducing headcount automation can not only reduce operating expenditure, but also increase productivity, and therefore profit margins. The case for robot automation, particularly in advanced economies, will become increasingly compelling as labor shortages intensify due to unfavorable demographic trends. The populations of nearly every developed nation are rapidly aging, and with birth rates alarmingly low, a severe shortage of workers entering the workforce is inevitable. Robots will prove to be a crucial an indispensable part of the solution to this impending crisis. Without the widespread adoption of automation, the entire global economy risks slowing to a grinding halt and, eventually, collapsing entirely. Governments would be unable to obtain sufficient revenue from taxation, 
as there would be an insufficient number of workers to fund vital social programs such as welfare and pension systems that support the aging population. This dire situation is primarily driven by the stark imbalance between the large number of experienced workers retiring and the inadequate influx of new workers entering the job market. This graph clearly illustrates the challenge of aging demographics and labor shortages in the manufacturing sector. In essence, the convergence of generative AI, economic pressures, and demographic imperatives has set the stage for a robotics revolution that will profoundly reshape the global labor landscape. While the full ramifications of this transformation remain to be seen, one thing is certain. The pioneering synergies between AI and robotics will undoubtedly catalyze a world where the boundaries between human and machine become increasingly intertwined, challenging us to redefine the very nature of work. In addition to advancements in generative AI, there have also been many other enabling technologies that have reached sufficient maturity all at the same time. They include standardization of robot components and the availability of open-source platforms. Advancements in materials science, manufacturing techniques, software development, edge computing, virtual reality simulation tools, 3D printing, computer vision, and improvements in sensors and actuators have all made robots more capable, versatile, and cost-effective, paving the way for their widespread adoption. This combination of freely available capital and recent technological breakthroughs have meant that manufacturing costs of humanoid robots have dropped from a range that ran between an estimated $50,000 and $250,000 per unit last year to between $30,000 and $150,000 now. That's a cost reduction of 40%. What this means is that the case for replacing human workers with autonomous machines is a no-brainer from a purely commercial perspective. Unless governments decide to introduce some form of anti-robot legislation such as a prohibitively high robot tax demand for robot workers will increase and blue-collar wages will tumble. This chart shows how wages have declined as a result of automation. However, they are expected to fall much further once humanoid robots become widely deployed. That's because robots will not only increase competition for jobs, but also commoditize skills and knowledge that previously made humans so valuable to employers. You only need to look at platforms like Lyft and Uber. Average driver take-home income has reduced by 10% in relative earnings, but when Tesla launches its lineup of autonomous semi-trucks and robo-taxis it will destroy the livelihoods of millions of commercial drivers. Let's now consider which blue-collar jobs are most likely to be replaced by robots. It stands to reason that the sectors which will be automated first are those that are experiencing the most acute labor shortages especially if they involve low-skilled, repetitive, and dull tasks. Other sectors that are ripe for automation are those that involve dangerous work that needs to be carried out in harsh environments. That's especially true for hazardous workplaces that are located far from populated areas. Transporting personnel and providing on-site accommodation is very costly and furthermore the risk of work-related fatalities increases the farther a site is from emergency services. This makes the deployment of unmanned systems especially compelling as it makes perfect economic sense while also eradicating the need to place human workers in situations where they may be harmed as a result of long-term exposure to toxins, experience psychological stress or get injured. According to U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, fatal work injuries recorded in 2021 were just under 5,200, but in 2022 the number increased to 5,500. That's the equivalent of 3.7 deaths per 100,000 workers. Here's a summary of all the sectors that fit the aforementioned criteria so are most likely to adopt robot workers. First up is oil and gas exploration and extraction. It was one of the first to trial aerial as well as subsea drones, so there's no reason why the sector wouldn't continue to embrace automation. The next generation of machines will be even more capable and cost-effective so things like structural health monitoring, maintenance, and repair work will no longer be done by human inspectors and divers. The industry has already deployed fully autonomous dark rigs that can operate without the need for any humans on site. Next up is the agricultural sector. The ever-increasing need for cheaper and more plentiful sources of food continues to place pressure on farmers around the world. They must therefore respond by finding new ways to reduce production costs and increase yields. As a result drones, autonomous tractors and precision farming equipment is increasingly being used to plant, spray, and harvest in order to reduce the need for manual labor. Robotic systems are also being used for tasks such as fruit picking, weed control, and crop monitoring as well as livestock management. Next, forestry. Autonomous machines with advanced sensors are now handling tree felling, delimbing, and bucking, reducing the dangers of manual labor. 
Robots are also being used for planting seedlings, conducting aerial surveys, mapping, and monitoring wildlife. In addition, it's possible that flame-throwing quadruped robot dogs could be used to fight forest fires by conducting controlled burns in difficult-to-reach areas, thus reducing fuel for larger fires. The warehousing industry is also rapidly integrating robotics to boost efficiency, cut labor costs, and enhance productivity. They already use automated storage and retrieval systems, but soon warehouses will be full of biped robots that will be used to store, retrieve, and move goods. They will also be used for sorting, palletizing, and packaging which is currently very labor-intensive. The construction industry is another sector that is increasingly embracing automation. Most makers of heavy industrial machinery are now expanding their ranges to include autonomous construction vehicles like bulldozers and excavators to move earth, drill and dig. Next let's cover the manufacturing industry. Robotic arms and automated systems can easily handle tasks like welding and assembling, and this has significantly reduced the number of accidents and deaths but also demand for human workers on the production line. Next up, the mining and resource extraction industry, which is possibly the most hardcore of all the sectors covered in this video with the possible exception of the hazardous material management sector, which we'll cover next. Companies like Rio Tinto, and Glencore were among the first to adopt fully autonomous vehicles from the likes of Caterpillar, Komatsu, and JCB as well as unmanned aerial systems for surveying, mapping, and on-site security monitoring. As previously mentioned, interacting with hazardous materials is extremely dangerous. Therefore specialized robots are increasingly being used to handle, transport, and dispose of hazardous substances to avoid the need to place humans within close proximity of radioactive or toxic materials. The military and defense sector is rapidly embracing automation and robotics to revolutionize modern warfare. Unmanned aerial vehicles, subs, and ships as well as all manner of autonomous weapon systems are being developed, such as this smart missile by Andrew Industries. The primary objective of this new wave of combat innovation is to inflict maximum damage on enemy assets while minimizing the need to risk human lives on the front line. Drones are playing a crucial role in battlefield surveillance, providing invaluable intelligence that enables unmanned air and ground-based vehicles to engage and eliminate enemy positions with pinpoint accuracy. These robotic systems are saving lives and enabling the most advanced militaries on the planet to dominate the theater of war. The development of autonomous wingmen, capable of flying alongside human pilots is well underway. However, the era of manned aircraft may be nearing its end as evidenced by the recent demonstration of an AI-powered fast jet developed by Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works Classified Research Laboratory in collaboration with Calspan Corporation and the United States Air Force. The fully autonomous test aircraft used to pitch human pilots against AI pilots is an F-16 variant called the Vista X-62A. Although no results have been officially released, insiders have reported that it can now easily outperform even the most experienced aviators. South Korea has taken a different approach. They have developed a humanoid robot that removes the need to adapt or replace existing operational aircraft. This milestone underscores the inevitability of fully autonomous weapon systems dominating the future battle space, ushering in a new era of unmanned precision warfare. Next is driverless vehicles. We already touched briefly on the impact that AI will have on taxi drivers, but there are many other transport-related jobs that will also be done away with. Although driverless transportation offers many benefits such as enhanced road safety it will displace millions of blue-collar jobs. By eliminating human error, consistently obeying traffic laws, and quickly reacting to road conditions autonomous vehicles are a far better alternative particularly when you consider that they are never affected by fatigue, distraction or impairment. All manner of AI-powered transportation devices are being tested including heavy-duty vehicles, buses, trains, ships and flying cars. Another sector is elder care. The industry has been badly affected by labor shortages which is why automation and robotic technologies are needed if the aging population is to be adequately cared for. Robotic assistants can help with tasks such as entertainment and patient monitoring. Additionally, social robots are being developed to provide companionship and emotional support, supplementing human caregiver roles as loneliness among the senior population is a huge and growing problem that urgently needs to be solved. Robots may never be able to fully replicate the human touch but it is inevitable that they will become a vital resource for the caring profession as the need for elder care continues to rapidly increase. Finally, let's briefly cover the service industry, specifically fast food, hospitality and catering. Blue-collar jobs like customer service, food preparation, delivery, and serving will be replaced by digital ordering platforms and robots. 
They will become increasingly common in fast food outlets, coffee shops, bars, restaurants, and retail malls as they are capable of outperforming almost every type of blue-collar worker and they don't complain. Unionize, misbehave, ask for pay increases, need time off, require training, oversight or any of the many other complications typically associated with managing human resources in the service industry. One bonus sector worth considering could be taken straight out of a scene from Blade Runner or Westworld. The sex and adult entertainment industry employs millions of people and is one of the oldest known professions. Online platforms such as Pornhub and OnlyFans generate billions of dollars of much-needed income for content creators. However, there's no doubt that AI-generated pornography and pleasure bots will have a potentially devastating impact on those who depend on this kind of work to survive. Due to stigma and the illicit nature of their work, most will find it difficult to switch to more conventional forms of employment and compete with AI and increasingly lifelike sex bots. And that concludes this episode. But don't worry we'll be back with another video that will help you survive the artificial intelligence job apocalypse by profiting from the impending machine economy. In the next episode we'll take a look at the most recent batch of fully autonomous robots and predict which manufacturers will go on to dominate the commercial robotics sector when it inevitably becomes a multi-trillion dollar industry. So what do you think? Are you a blue-collar worker who has lost your job to a robot, or do you know anyone who has? Leave your comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon and we'll see you next time. Disclaimer, this content is intended for entertainment purposes only. We do not guarantee the accuracy or completeness of the information provided. We are not responsible for any losses or damages that may arise. Nothing should be interpreted as investment or financial advice.